So last night, the 89th Annual Academy Awards went down. It's easily the most memorable ceremony I've ever seen, and it's probably one of the most memorable ceremonies in the history of the Motion Picture Academy. Because who seriously saw Viola Davis winning for Best Supporting Actress? No, but in all seriousness, it is very memorable because of what happened with Best Picture. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway presented the Academy Award for Best Picture to Damien Chazelle's La La Land, which is a movie that did not win Best Picture. The actual Best Picture winner was Barry Jenkins' Moonlight, which also took awards for Best Supporting Actor and Best Adapted Screenplay. They were some kind of snafu with the envelopes, so that's why there was that whole mix-up. Film Twitter is trying to go forensic files on all of this, trying to figure out what really happened. But it seems like it was just a simple mix-up. And yeah, Moonlight won Best Picture. So what does that mean? Well, the obvious implication here is that Hollywood at large, at long last, will finally give every actor, regardless of race, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, ethnicity, country of origin, and so on and so forth, the chance to shine. Okay, just kidding. Hollywood still has a very long way to go in that regard. But this is a huge step forward for Hollywood, obviously. It's been tweeted about ad nauseum, what this means for black queer people, specifically black queer youth, and how black queer elders probably never got really a movie like this either. So this is something that's very powerful. And of course, this does not mean that people outside that group can't appreciate it. As Christopher Tapley of Variety has stated, and Naomi Harris stated on the red carpet last night, and I'm paraphrasing here, when something becomes really specific, it becomes universal. The way that I would phrase it is that when something becomes very specific, especially when it's something character-based, you find common ground with that character. You can say, hey, I can relate to this experience in some way, not necessarily always. I won't pretend that I have the exact same experiences as Chiron for very obvious reasons. But there are elements of the character that I can relate to, and I'm trying to tread very lightly with this. Because when white audiences consume black art, oftentimes the idea that they can relate to certain things in it, which is, you know, true, ends up taking this turn for like whitewashing it and making it like, oh, we all have the exact same experiences, which is not true. So I, I'm not trying to say that in any way. I'm just saying this movie is a powerful message about empathy, about love and acceptance, accepting yourself, accepting others. It's, a, it's about how people have varied personality traits, how whether you're looking at their occupation or where they come from, or whatever, you can't necessarily say, oh, this person is a certain way because of X, Y, and Z. All five people who are watching this video probably already caught on to that. So the summarized version is that Moonlight winning Best Picture is a very, very important step forward for Hollywood. Not to mention that it is easily the best Best Picture winner that I have seen since I really started paying attention to the Oscars during the 2008 season. I kind of started paying attention near the end of the 2007 season when No Country for Old Men won. And even if I grouped that film into this, I would still say that Moonlight is the best film of the recent Best Picture winners. You've got films like Spotlight from 2015, 12 Years a Slave from 2013, and Slumdog Millionaire from 2008 that I all think are very strong Best Picture winners. But I do think that Moonlight is in its own league to an extent. And I do think future generations will regard Moonlight, along with Denis Villeneuve's Arrival, and Damien Chazelle's La La Land as masterpieces of their time. So Oscar season is over y'all. I guess I'll talk about the Oscars again after Toronto ends this year. Holy crap, I won't be talking about the Oscars again until October. Okay, maybe I'll just wait a couple months. But what about movies that have already come out that could be Oscar contenders? M. Night Shyamalan split. Jordan Peele's Get Out. Okay, so I will be back with predictions this time next month. Do I really want to wait a month? F*** it. Year in advance Oscar predictions next week, y'all. 
<laughs> again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video. This channel is still relatively new. It's still growing-ish. So I'm just going for 10 likes for this video. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content from me. Thanks again, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!